everybody. Welcome to the Hacienda Rivet here. Today we're going to make braised beef with Guinness and prunes. Uh, I saw this recipe on YouTube uh, with Chef Marco Pierre White making it. Looks absolutely delicious, so he inspired me to make it myself. I've got a uh, bottom round roast here off camera. Let's start slicing it, it up. Now we're going to take this roast and cut it into fairly large pieces um, because we're going to want nice big chunks of meat in our uh, each serving. So that's about right. We want to uh, brown and caramelize our meat like this over medium high heat uh, and some vegetable oil. Once the other side's done, we're going to put it off to the side in a pan and continue with the iterations. All right, in the same pot, we added a little bit more vegetable oil. Uh, we've got the onions. They're starting to get translucent. Now we're going to add the garlic. Cook that for a few more minutes. And join me then. All right, after a couple minutes, we got the meat nestled back in there, still over medium high. And we're going to add uh, two tablespoons of this uh, Better Than Bouillon. That's going to add the, some salt and uh, flavor. And to that, we'll add the three bottles of Guinness. Good stuff that it is. And the four cups of prune juice. Now we are going to bring this up to a boil and then we're going to cover it, put it in a 350 degree oven for about three to four hours. I got some pork belly here that uh, we're going to make the lardons with uh, and that's going to be a uh, garnish for the stew. Half an hour before the roast is ready, or the stew rather, we're frying up these lardons and uh, this is going to be a delicious garnish. In the same oil, same pan, we're going to lightly fry up the uh, prunes. I took the prunes and uh, I dumped them in a pot of boiling water for about 60 seconds, then put them in a colander. Uh, what they've done is they've plumped up a little bit. Uh, absorb some of the water and uh, are a lot prettier. So we're going to fry these up for maybe 60 seconds and then they're ready. And here it is bubbling goodness um, after two and a half hours in the uh, oven. The last half hour I took the lid off. Let's go ahead and get it plated up. Here we go a plate of steaming goodness and so now we're going to garnish it. We've got the um, the prunes which uh, are going to add a nice flavor uh, to that. Be generous. Ooh, they're hot. Okay. All right. And now we've got the lardons. Let's put some of that crispy deliciousness on top. Very nice. One more. There you go. Let's go ahead and dig in and give it a try. Okay, it's smelling delicious. Really, really nice and meaty. And, uh, ooh, look how tender the meat is. Just pulling it apart with a fork. I don't even need a knife. Oh, let's, let's try the meat with the sauce. Oops. Mmm. Need a paper towel. Mmm, chef was right. That prune juice really counterbalances the uh, sharpness of the Guinness. Wonderful sauce. And you know, folks, if you wanted to thicken that up, you could probably put some flour in there or potatoes, mashed potatoes, potato powder. But I d I don't think it needs it. I would serve this over a bed of maybe mashed potatoes. Um, let's try the lardon. 
Mm. Nice and crispy. I uh, bought belly, pork belly, because it was slab. I think um, using cured bacon, uh, the saltiness and the cure uh, flavor would probably counterbalance the uh, prunes and the meat uh, much better than this. These are good, but um, they, they don't have that saltiness and uh, the flavor that cured bacon does. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, man. Those prunes are like candy. Look at this. Cutting that with a fork. Delicious stuff. Mm. Excellent meal. Definitely good for cold weather. Although it's 75 degrees outside today. But anyway, thanks for watching, people. Bye bye.